Hey ladies! Got a ladies bike for ya. This is the Cannondale Trail ladies edition. All right guys, I'm Johnny Nerdout. If you're new to this channel, I'm a professional e-bike converter. I take normal bikes, turn them into an e-bike, make them pretty sick, brah. Got another bike here for you. So I'm gonna go over this bike, what I did to it, and why this thing is awesome. So now is that point, if you like this channel, if you like this video, you'll have to take a look in the mirror and think if you wanna subscribe or not. It's up to you, totally up to you. I'm not gonna threaten you. Okay, so this is a Cannondale Trail. It's a hardtail mountain bike. It's got hydraulic disc brakes, Shimano disc brakes. Works pretty well. And this is a small frame, so this is for uh, a smaller lady. Short in stature. I feel like there's a Sir Mix-a-Lot song coming up in the back of my head. I'm really fighting the urge not to sing. But yeah, so what we did to it is we added hydraulic disc brake sensors to it. Put a DPC-14 with an 850C display on it. It's got a throttle. Got a BDS-02 motor on it. Got the, where's the battery? Oh, battery's in here. It's a 48 volt, 20 amp hour. So this is a good trail bike, literally. It's earning up to the name. It's gonna have a pretty long range. It's almost a thousand watt hours. So range is gonna be not a problem with this one. And it still has usable cargo in here. Although this battery is pretty heavy, so I wouldn't wanna put too much more weight in this bag. You're just gonna rip it. But the good thing is like bags can be upgraded or replaced easily. Yeah, we've got a gear shift sensor in here somewhere, right here. It's hiding right there. Just got a standard 44 tooth chain ring on there. Got a mirror and a bell. Lunchtime, And we put uh, rechargeable lights on here. These are the Knight Riders. Front and rears. So this thing is pretty much, this could be used as a car. It's pretty much set up for it. Uh, we also put a kickstand on it. That's why, look at this, no hands. All right, let's go do a Johnny Nerd Out test on this and see how it performs. And just to clarify what the Johnny Nerd Out test is, I find this like embankment. It's got like a 20 degree pitch at least. I do a test with a running start and I do a test from the very start of the hill and test it out without a running start. And then I also test top speed on this to see how fast it can go. And all this is just under motor power, so I'm not pedaling with it, just to give you an idea of what the motor is capable of. And I'm about 180 pounds, so use that as to factor your factors. Who are factoring? How do you factor? Who's factoring? Who's, st why are we even talking about factors? Okay, anyways, giant your dot test. Okay, so you can see this thing is awesome. And my wife even had a chance to ride this one and she's like, I love how wide these handlebars are. I feel so confident on this thing. So now she wants to get one of these too, which, you know, there's worse things that a, a wife can want to have. Definitely, I'll probably be building her something like this in the somewhat near future uh, to complement her Benno. And then we'll never need to use our car ever again. And then part one is complete. Anyways, so hopefully you guys like this video. Let me know if you have any questions, comments. Cool, thanks.